I'm S. Nichols, and I go to Millard South. And this is Rita. Rita, I feel your nervous backed closeness when my strung vans are followed by two men coiled to boiling point in drinks that fizzle up my throat and I don't breathe to keep my chest flat. Your hand shakes as it clutches my key between your fingers, red nails clacking louder against yellow teeth than the heels wandering in Alston Street. Even your vibrating sight knows the corners, catches a string of smoke floating from your neighbor's balcony. Off under the frail street light I pass beneath, curl closer into a faux leather jacket, pull a beanie lower to cover their slick voices, train my eyes on the glass glowing lot, my lungs on my Volvo's locked doors. Three turns later and you were climbing upstairs, riddled with one at a time, all this dress will allow, just a floor behind. The metallic clink of feet, grooved railing, sings like church bells approaching you, approaching me. Men with eyes, matte as the black Corvette, they step to crack a joke about the homeless man. Woman, curled in the alleyway, their breath mists like your blood on the balcony door. Redder nails scraping outdated carpet away from the crunch of work boot towards a cigarette butt catapulting off a nearby windowsill. Your scream catapults down my throat just as lost as I am, a passing white boy in the liberal part of town who could belt out estrogen terror but doesn't need to as two drunk men drive away the memory of you bleeding out the ink of he, his, him, dripping down your neighbor's fingers as they ravage a pack of smoke, scavenge through the afternoon papers. Such a shame, they tisk. Another black man lost to the latest crime spree almost looks familiar they purr your red nails glaringly bare scraped clean for your last headshot Rita if I die my coffin will be littered with dirt by just a few who whisper my chosen name as a eulogy my mother will put how pretty I was in print your body is only pretty to them printed on a gravestone its wrongs caressed with candles and flowers plated up for post-mortem dissection countless other women who have become beside you I am not I am tumbling out of a gas station bathroom stall to a world ugly as the face of the man waiting outside, fists curled and hissing, eyes slipping under my skin with the same apathy that filled the pursed lips of journalists as they trailed the crowd behind your mother, Rita. She knelt at your gateway in lined slippers, worn as her eyelids from praying. The men standing by with cigarettes and note pads wait for her to say, I would have gladly died for you, Rita. I would have taken the stabs and told you to run. Their eyes narrow, staring me down through this balding man in a midtown Bucky's hallway. He poisons my hips with deadly knowledge as I walk away, as I walk away.